Welcome to my Elden Ring Use What You See Enemy and Item Randomizer. Now, much unlike normal randomizer runs where items and enemies are just kind of jumbled up all around the world, I decided I wanted to mix this up a little bit and add an extra little twist onto it to make it a little bit more difficult. Quick little disclaimer, this is not my original idea. This was done previously in other Souls games by people like Lobos Jr. He was the first person I know of to do this. So of course, if, if Elden Ring's your first game and you haven't, you're not aware of Lobos, please, by all means, check him out. I've always been fascinated by this idea and I did it in DS3 and I haven't seen anyone doing it uh, in Elden Ring yet, so it sounded like something I, I'd be interested in. There's a few things to note with how this run's gonna play out. First off is what is use what you see? Well, the premise is pretty simple, uh, which is any item I see in the world, I must pick up and immediately equip. So whether it's a weapon, a staff, armor, talisman, I will immediately equip it. It'll take the place of what was previously occupying that slot. Now, a quick thing to note about these rules. This only applies to items I actually see. Just because there's an item near me doesn't mean I have to go pick it up. I'm trying to play fair here and not purposely avoid looking at items, but there's going to be items that I, like, I completely miss, whether because I don't know they exist, or maybe I'm even saving them for later in case I need backup items. As for consumables, none of them need to be used right away except for souls or runes. So anytime I pick up a rune, like a golden rune 4, I will immediately pop it, uh, which makes it a lot more difficult than you'd imagine. There's a lot of points in this where it's going to get very hectic and crazy. As for staffs, uh, the way staffs are going to work, we kind of decided, my chat and I, that staffs, talismans, shields will go into the left hand, and bows uh, and melee weapons will go in the right. Now again, on the surface, this sounds like quite the easy challenge. Uh, ultimately, it's just going to be picking up items and using them but it gets a lot more complicated than that, especially when you see some of the bosses we get a little bit later in. So without further ado, here is the use what you see enemy and item randomizer for Elden Ring. Okay, surely we are good now. This is the seed. These are the settings. This is the third time I've gone over this. Can I just hit launch here? Is this what everyone does? I want to do the, I want to follow this by the fucking playbook, boys. Is this, is this what we do? Do I click this? Is this what you guys do? I'm, I'm not touching a thing until I get a response. No, Justin, no. I'm clicking it. You Alright, I'm clicking it. Why is my chat in the middle of my screen? <laughs> so, use me, daddy. We are going to go with... Ooh, the claws? finger is perfect you're right all right i actually don't know what this boss does <laughs> bro i'm gonna die to miranda the blighted bloom i can't be asked cba <laughs> i'm not doing that at least i didn't die okay so again this is an example of the rule I see that item up there. I must go, um, acquire it. it. Does not apply for crafting materials. And if I get like a crafting book, I don't have to craft things in it. It's mostly just weapons, armor, talisman. I'll be the one to say it. Oh no. Oh my god. Bro, they're so slimy. Bro, it's like my ex. No! See? So, we got strength. I think that's normal. I think you always get strength there. But in this name of the randomizer, we will use it. So we got Slumbering Egg and Arrow's Reach Talisman. So I must equip the Arrow's Reach Talisman. We're going to try to cycle the talismans. So if, um, I, let's say I had three talisman slots and I got one, the oldest one would go first. If that makes sense. So we see an item. We pick it up. Black Knife Tish, Ash War Thunderbolt. So, I think the way I want to handle this, right, is I don't have to use summons right away, because, like, 
There's not really a challenge to that. Ash of Wars, if I can, I don't know how to handle Ash of Wars. Because I can't equip them all right now. Can I? Or if I'm using a weapon that can't equip it, then... And I'm not doing vendor things. So I guess Ash of Wars and vendor items, we will not do. Because I'm not going to be buying everything here and using it. That's just excessively weird. Goodbye. You're weird. What is that insane tracking, dude? See an item? Uh, it's not a mod. I'm just doing it myself. <laughs> so Loretta's War Sickle, that gets equipped. So let's just try to, I guess we'll head towards Margit, do all the item checks there, and see if I don't get a weapon. In which case, I'm just going to try to rush down Margit before I kind of like get fucked over, you know? It's scary. This is my favorite part of the randomizers is looking at how cute she is. She's adorable. I'd marry her. I don't even know her name, but I'd marry her. It's just pixels. Hey, that's all I can get in life, alright? Okay. 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 Give me a short sword. We got the kink mask. Bye, kink mask. I just need a weapon that I can equip. Okay, bye. <laughs> so we'll try Margit. I'm gonna count these guys as items too. Until I inevitably forget. Yo, we swag? Oh, it's fucking this attack. I'm gonna get right card phase two. I'm going to have to do it without it. Yeah, I know. Golden seed, all right. And again, just if I walk by an item, that's fine. As long as I'm not, like, looking at the item. And I'm gonna do my best not to, like, avoid looking at items. It's kind of inevitable that, like, some items are just gonna be barely off screen. But I'm not gonna be doing it on purpose. Oh my god. Oh no! 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 Bro, it's so much harder when you actually have to loot. We're gonna be more mid rolling. Fucking hell. Bro, this is gonna be toxic. What have I gotten myself into? Oh my god, the light, the fucking... Listen, I didn't want to get hit by the, uh, the death poison shit. 
So this is where the cracks in the armor of this run really start to show themselves. A lot of the times, I will not have the actual stats to wield the weapon properly, which means I'm going to be doing a fraction of the damage that I would be had I had those stats. And because of the rule where I have to use runes when I find them, keeping my actual runes up enough to level up my weapon for fights like this makes it a kind of a balancing act where I want to make sure I have the stats to wield the weapon I have in case I get a hard fight. But also, if I level up too early, and I see an item that replaces it, I may not have the stats for the new item. Bro, just let me roll. Oh my God, I can't double roll those attacks because of the fat rolling. I didn't think about that. I normally double roll those. But I can't double roll them, so I have to either go behind them and do the slow shit and can't get head hits, or I try and get lighter armor. I can go try to get lighter armor. I ate so much fucking sauerkraut today, my stomach is killing me. <laughs> I ate like two cans worth of sauerkraut today. <laughs> The sauerkraut date? I've already told you guys about the sauerkraut date. So I went on this date with this girl and she wanted to go to a sauerkraut festival. Because that's a, an Ohio thing. I don't really remember exactly what happened. But it was a sauerkraut, or sauerkraut date. Wait, no, not wrong about... Yeah. Dude, this drip is actually kind of sick. Give up again? I will not. I am superior. Oh, that's heavier, dude. Lionel Greaves are so fucking heavy. Oh, wait. Yeah, they're a lot heavier. Bro's fucking stacked! So I, I don't think I can equip any of my old talismans. That feels like cheating to me. Uh, so I will not be. Because they've already been recycled out. Why did you set vendors to key items? To incentivize going to these um vendors. Oh yeah, that's right. You can just get them. I don't have to kill them anymore. You just get it. Uh. <laughs> Oh, is this Draconic Tree Sentinel? Insane. Oh, this is awkward. Okay. Ritual pot, golden rune. Okay, let's loot up this graveyard. Go grab the physic. Go grab the regalia of Yukai. Fuck. We might be light rolling now. Do we want to go try to upgrade this, maybe? And go take on Fortisax? Oh, that damage is good.
Thank fucking god, dude. She said that was way harder than it should have been. Okay. Um, got Dactus Medallion. That's good. Like, should we just go for the path of least resistance? Because, like, the Noxloin Sword, at least I can get through content right now, you know what I mean? I'm not, like, being barred or held back by, um, like, fat rolling or can't wield my weapon. Like, right now, I'm, I'm, I could technically beat the game like this. Need be. Primal Glintstone Blade. So we're gonna equip both. We're not gonna replace this, because we can have two. Um. Fuck, reduces maximum HP. <laughs> So do I want to go towards... Do I want to do Lyrnia now? Or do I go loot the rest of the key items in Limgrave? Because I haven't done any of Mistwoods yet. I could go do Mistwoods. Mistwoods might be the best call, honestly. Get, like, all the key item checks here. If I remember how. Regalia is best weapon. Prisoner trousers, let's go. Golden rune. Alright, well this run's definitely in a better spot than it was 10 minutes ago. Unfortunately, I would like a better weapon. But, talisman pouch, nice. Um. I'm gonna be honest with you. I have no fucking idea where I am. Like, I knew how they all connected and everything. It was kind of sad, really. Yeah, so the premise of this run is I want to find all of the ways Elden Ring players have never died. And execute them. Give me it, daddy. Whoa, stop. I was opened up to a whole new world the other day. I finally- I feel so proud of myself. I finally learned what a passenger princess is. <laughs> I'm so proud, dude. So now we go to... Castle Morn. Because that is a check, I believe. Oh no... Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I'm fat rolling too now. Well, shit. I mean, we could try the boss, I guess. <laughs> hey, thank you, Dizzy. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Ow. Yeah, dude, the mid roll, man. I see an item over there. If I die or after I kill him, I have to remember to go pick that up. Oh no. I don't know how far out the water goes here. Yeah, I'm immediately backtracking for that item now. Is there another item in this arena? I forget. S Scepter of the All-Knowing. Is that lighter? Oh, well, that was pathetic. It's like me trying to slide into someone's DMs. Let's go do key item checks. Are you fucking kidding me? Well, how knight armor. Okay. Very cool. Oh, another stake, America. Fuck. Shit. All right, graveyards looted. Oh, and a little life advice. If you like if you're like me and you have to sleep with like white noise from like a fan or something, 
uh, get a shit fan. Get like a 15 to $20 like standing oscillating fan. Uh, because they are so much better than any other fan I found. I had like a, I don't want to call it a bougie fan, but it was kind of like a nicer fan. And it sucked. It didn't blow out like any good air. But this thing, this thing fucks. Do you need to sleep? I just like it. I'm weird. I like it blowing on my toes. I like the sound. I would never murder a merchant. Oh shit. Bolt of Grand Sax? I don't see any other items. I know there are some. Fucking stop! Are you guys familiar with Shark Week? Holy. Okay. So we either need 40 decks or we need to find some loot. We need a better weapon. We need a weapon we can actually wield. Uh, my current idea is to go to Kaled and in Kaled to do what I can there in hopes of Finding a better weapon and key item checks. Thankfully, I'm light rolling. Let me grab the item. My god. <laughs> oh, no. Go on, buddy. Run away. Where are you taking me? No! Are you fucking kidding me? Bro, Caleb's gonna be the death of me. That may actually be better than the Grand Sacks right now. Oh, we're stylish. Okay. That was all of them, right? Okay, <laughs> maybe this merchant can live. <laughs> the cauldron? Define cauldron. You know what, bro? I give up. I don't know Biss, actually. Yo, speedrunning tricks coming in help. Nice, dude. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, I'm light rolling now. Or mid rolling. Hell yeah. Okay, I just need a shield then. Or a, a weapon. That isn't like 
terribly, terribly heavy. Is that an Albanoric? That isn't- that's the scariest thing I've ever seen in my fucking life. That was actually terrifying. Okay. Okay. We're going to do it. We're going to Lu, uh, Theos Champions. I saw these three items. I need to get to that grace up here, and then we're doing Fius Champs. The damage is gonna suck, but I don't care. Upgrading it as much as I can. Yo, we're matching, dog. Let's kiss Brims. <laughs> yeah, dude. Let's see how I get my damages. Oh, hers is pretty good. Oh, shit, we're chilling, dude. Well, maybe. Why do you have so little HP? That's how the cards have played out. Okay, I can't immediately roll away. Don't root for Roger! Okay, we're definitely not going to survive this attempt. I can do this. Thankfully, my damage is pretty good. I want to try to parry the Twin Blade, dude. I need to try to conserve as much Estus, but trading with these guys seems to be very common. I can probably get through Roger without trading, but if I can parry this dude... Let's do some insane half-light strats. No! Oh. Alright. <laughs> well, we're probably gonna die here. Of course, you start the fight off with skulls. Wait, oh, you're a fucking spellcaster, duh. Fuck. If I didn't bonk his shield, I would have been okay. Yeah? 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 Bro. God, dude, this is so much pain. So, Radon, at least for plus five. And it, hopefully it's not a duo fight. If it's just one-on-one -on -one fight... Like... Be a lot better, you know? Cool. Alright, please be like... Godric or well not even Godric that'd be fucking sucky with what my HP is problem is my HP is shit so any boss right now is gonna hit like extremely hard who's more mid late game fucking hell dude I hate fighting these bosses the misbegotten's I really don't know their moveset like at all This boss has a ton of HP, and on top of that, I don't exactly have the best damage, nor is my health bar looking too good. Unfortunately, this boss and Fius Champions both block potentially a lot of progress for this playthrough. Right now, we're currently looking for either the Academy Glenstone Key, which will give us access to not only Rhea Lucaria, but also Volcano Manor, or we're looking for two great runes. 
two great runes will allow us to access Lindell. Lindell opens up a ton of checks for other great runes, as well as we can reach the mountaintop of the giants, which leads to Consecrated Snowfield, so on and so forth. As well as if we can kill this Misbegotten here, we'll get access to Noxtella, which also has a ton of checks. Unfortunately, none of these options seem that great, and the only other way right now that I can see to go is through the old Atlas Tunnel, which is completely unknown and has a ton of items that we risk losing our plus five crystal knife, which right now may be the best thing we see for a while. God. Bro, fucking hell, dude. Fuck me, my stupid fucking game. You're fucking kidding me. Right here. Fucking 100% right here. Great rune, let's go. <laughs> oh boy. That is huge though for this fucking run because we open up Akron or Nuxtella, whatever. Bunch of runes. We can finally get some levels going. Vigor. That's fucking huge. So we have three ways we can go. We can go to Noxtella, which leads us to a few checks. We can go to Back to Fia's Champs. Or we can go to Altus through the um the do I want to do a Noxtella? I kind of want to go through the old Altus tunnel. Okay, there's two things I want to do real quick. First is Village of the Albanorx. I want to check that key item where the Dectus Medallion normally is. We still haven't done the Fort Height or whatever the Fort is in Kaelid. We have those two checks and then we'll do old Altus tunnel. That's what I want to do. Whoa, that was a quick poison. Oh, no, I saw it! Fuck. God, I just wanted to pull the lever. This is why... I wanted to come here. There's a lot of items. Okay, okay. Man, I need... How much dex do you need? 48? Miyazaki, you're tripping, dude. Grave Violet. All right, do we want to see what this boss is? I don't really want to do it right now with Hannah Millennia, unless it's something like the Snail of Godric, or a Snail. I wonder what boss it is. Does anyone have an idea? It's like a kid hiding behind a little pillar while playing hide and seek, thinking no one could see him. <laughs> I mean, this looks doable to me. I need to level Dex next, since that seems to be the biggest red luck. All right, Noxtella it is. The fucking Scooby-Doo dogs after me. The Scrappy-Doo from the the live action. We got leggings and Millicent's prosthesis. That was the oldest talisman, and then leggings. The second we get a weapon that we can wield, I I'm heading straight for us a stealth. B. Good weapon. Please help. <laughs> Sums up my mental state pretty well. 
<laughs> oh no, bubble dude. Oh, <gasps> rusted anchor. I can wield that. We're gonna go to that grace up ahead. Hopefully not get another weapon. And then we're going to kill Estelle. This weapon's actually really good too. We can also get a level here. No! Now that's some big boy damage. I must know. That's a thing of nightmares? <laughs> Bro, come on. The Estelle incident, dude. I can't see anything, dude. I'm gonna die to Estelle. Oh my god. god thank god. Golden Sea. Okay, let's do... Let's, let's just knock out Theus Champs. YOLO. YOLO is a no-go. Stop! Bro. My frames suck here, too. What if I just go, like, over here? Oh my god. Bro, every time I get, like, any kind of opening, one of them is- he's either poised or the skulls. No risks are to be taken. All right. I think we've hit every check though in Limgrave and Liernia, apart from Academy in this, obviously. What's her name again? Pidia. You were a waste of time, Pidia. Uh, okay, Academy. I gladly will on you. I share that shield did me well, dude. That shield carry- that shield's been here for a while. It's kind of an OG. Happy 2023. Thank you. You as well. I hope you have a 2023 that's better than... Than this. I hope it's better than this. We're gonna pretend that's the case, because I honestly don't remember. That's what my brain's telling me. Oh, health! Big. How's the rando going? Uh, it's been a little rough. It's been a lot of rough, actually. 
been a few really rough segments. The same. No! Come on, give me a weapon, please. Was there an item behind? Oh, yeah, shit. Good shout. Yes! <laughs> no! <laughs> Bro, the, emotion the emotional turmoil right now. What do I need for that? 22 faith. I might be still able to do some decent damage with it, though. Come on, you're legendary. You gotta be a weapon. Okay, hold on. This is actually funny, because... We are upgrading our Urtree Favor plus one to Urtree Flavor plus two. Comedy. Well, let's see what the damage is like. And let's see who else this is. If it's a really easy boss, we can knock it out. Or if our damage isn't actually all that bad. The no audio fucking sucks. This this is arguably the most cursed randomizer I've had yet. No, 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 no. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Bro, come on. Do I want to suffer through this fight? I, mean, I don't really have any choices. Is this or this or Noxtella? Or go try to find a better weapon. You're gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. Ah, oh, man. Like, what do you do against this tech? On foot. What do you do? I wish I could get to your fucking... If I die right now... Thank God. <laughs> So, like, right here, I see an item. I have to go pick that up. Like. How bad is St. Trina's Torch? Oh. Yeah, I just want to see what the damage is like. You have to do the L2 to sleep them.
Oh my god. Yo, he's threading the needle right now. You are gotta be kidding me. Let's go, Volcano Manor. Oh, thank God. Quick. Be. Oh, Loretta. Okay, he can't grab it during the fight. Yeah, my weapon pickups haven't been great. <laughs> I was about to ask a really dumb question, which was, is this Ghost Loretta or not? But then I realized very quickly it was not. Like her arrow attack, and I remember if I need to roll right or left. Left. Wait, right. Or does it really matter? Let's be real. Since when is that a four? Five hit combo. Since when is that a five hit combo? That pillar almost fucked me. There's an item up here somewhere. Why did I look? Everything I've ever wanted in life. Oh no. No, the Ronnie mask arc is over. Now, I don't want to call anything being unfair. But that didn't seem very fair. Sorry, surely where Serpent Hunter normally is, there's still an item. And the item is something good. Moog? I mean, rules are rules, right? Moog Devouring Serpent. Oh yeah, there's gonna be a phase two to this, isn't there? Well, surely phase two isn't God's gonna do it. I'm going to die to Renala, everyone. Oh, no. 
You've got to be kidding me. After just over seven hours, we are able to collect one of the seven great runes we need in order to finish this run. We have access to Altus Plateau, we have Volcano Manor, and the rest of Rhea Lucaria. In next week's episode, I hope we can finally enter Lindell and make our way towards Mountaintop of the Giants.